Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Barb Mitchell, joined with Candace Sipos here from JSA, wrapping up day one uh, here at Capacity Europe at the O2 in London. It's been a great first day, wouldn't you say, Candace? It really has been. We are in this beautiful new space, the Peninsula Ballroom, I believe is what it's called. So yeah. it didn't even exist last year. We've been at JSA, we've been in Capacity Europe several years in a row. So this is an annual tradition for us, but new space. So that kind of shakes it up a little bit. Yeah. And it's also, it feels very kind of executive and quieter down here in the Peninsula area. Yeah, it does. And then it's very busy and buzzing. We have had just a few minutes to kind of run upstairs in between mm -hmm. um, interviews here and there. And it's very, uh, you know, expo floor upstairs. So, you know, it's, you it's hard to imagine that they can expand into a whole nother space and it still be full and as busy as this space is. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely been quite busy. We've been really excited to host so many of the the carriers that are here at Capacity mm -hmm. Europe, as well as, you know, as service providers who are serving those carriers, all kinds of different folks from uh, different areas within digital infrastructure. So yeah. what do you, what do you think, Barb? What well, yeah, different trend? areas geographically and areas in terms of focus of business. You said carriers. We had, yeah. we had uh, Colt, we had um, Orange here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also talked to um, some data center providers and, mm -hmm. and some folks that are building out infrastructure in areas like Africa. So yeah. IX Africa uh, was one that we spoke with. Yeah. Really interesting. And, and some key themes came up, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've, we were, Barb and I were just chatting about um, kind of the power of partnership being a big uh, headline. We feel like from the interviews we're, we're having, but also just generally from what people are talking about around the conference. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think mm -hmm. what I was think, hearing, some of the themes we've been hearing about, throughout the year and probably the year before sustainability mm -hmm. continues to be on everyone's mind uh, but also a lot around artificial intelligence yeah you know and, sure. and again it was last year too but this year even more so right I had someone say to me that uh, last year they were talking about the metaverse and this year it's more about specifically around AI several people were talking about that but I think you mentioned partnerships and one mm -hmm. of the things that really stood out to me was just again this emphasis on the need for the global community to come together to enable the the infrastructure build outs and and support the networks to yeah. have this global connectivity that's going to support the needs of, of clients and partnerships and, and organizations. Absolutely. I feel like a lot the underlying theme of a lot of these conversations is just the demand, so like the intense demand that the industry is seeing and, and, and will continue to see because of AI and these intense workloads. And so how do we tackle that together, I think, is one common theme. And then also, how do we generate the interest in the industry and, you know, have enough people to tackle that? Just the workforce right. conversations, I feel like a especially over the past year, this year, I feel like those have really been front and center at these uh, conferences, not just this one. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, I think this morning, uh, Capacity Europe opens with a big um, roundtable discussion with a lot of uh, really, you know, insightful thoughts around how to solve that issue with the workforce. So, yeah. so interesting. And it's hard to stop talking because there's so <laughs> much to say. We'll have more to, to say later. We're going to continue the conversations. Mm -hmm. There's a networking reception I know that starts uh, shortly here where we yeah. can continue the conversations we've been having uh, with some folks on JSA TV and we'll take it sort of behind the behind the scenes uh, and, and we'll have more to say tomorrow because we yeah. start uh, live again tomorrow at 9 a.m. local time. That's live, live um, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, British Standard Time. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So bright and early for everyone else uh, uh, hopefully watching from, from the U.S. and other areas of the world depending on where you are of course it, you know uh, but if you're here if you're watching live and you're in uk time um actually i think we're starting at 8 50 even because oh, we snuck another interview earlier. in there okay, yeah right. we are we're getting so much demand for these interviews so we're kind of sneaking them in where we can so right. we will see you there yeah okay great well <laughs> uh thank you Candace. <laughs> and thank you uh, viewers for tuning into jsa tv and jsa podcast we'll be back again tomorrow and until then have a great night. Happy networking. We'll see you soon.